in a telephone interview with the Italian newspaper La Stampa when I was living in Berlin some two and a half years ago. I had spoken of my feeling of foreboding, spoken of a civil war in embryo, of a Somalia whose people were very likely going to savage themselves into total extinction. Precisely a year later, I would forewarn the then chairman of the Organization of African Unity, Uganda's President Museveni, that unless the outside world intervened, Somalia would be plunged into total anarchy. Siad Barre had not been chased out of his citadel, with citadel of disrepute by that time, and General Aidid's men hadn't taken Mogadishu either, nor had many of us heard of the names of other warlords whose criminal activities have since held the nation's destiny to ransom. I remember suggesting to President Museveni when I met him for several hours in the presence of his Minister of State for External Affairs, that he convene a meeting in Kampala, Uganda, under the OAU auspices, and that he invite all the parties to the conference. Left to me, I asserted to him, I would take, talk to anyone to avert a civil strife in Somalia. If need be, I would even hold a dialogue with Satan, even if his name is Siad Barre. President Museveni spoke long-windedly, pontificating on the cynicism of his divided loyalties, because as chairman of the OAU, it did not behoove him to undertake any activity which might be construed as interference in the internal affairs of another sovereign sister state. On the other hand, although his sympathies might be with the rebels whom he wished well, he had no choice but to reject my thesis that Siad Barre, the erstwhile dictator, be invited not as a head of state, but as another warlord. Conscious of the ironies involved, Museveni pointed out that none of the rebel movements in Somalia has as yet submitted their accreditation to the OAU, to the Organization of African Unity, the very body, he said, of which I happen to be chairman. So how can I justify putting them on a par with a feral head of state? Before we parted, President Museveni was kosher enough to advise me to seek the counsel of a politician to do what he was talking about. He added, no doubt you're an excellent novelist. For all I know, you may even be an outstanding professor of literature. But when it comes to politics, you are, perhaps, naive. If you want my advice, stay away 